Welcome back to another Alliance War video. It's for Loki versus uh, Nex. This is our second time matching them. I'm not sure why we had a rematch, but it is what it is. I kind of wanted somebody else. Um, they banned Falcon, Quake, and Ghost. We did beat them the first time around, but you never know what can happen um, in war. So we are on path five in section one with uh, Professor X, White Magneto, and Captain America Infinity War. Um, first up is this Mr. Negative, I'm dropping a White Magneto pre-fight here, and I'm just going to basically parry heavy and to my special three. Um, with uh, the Detox Global for the attackers, um, I actually just shed his Delirium. It wouldn't do anything because Professor X is immune to reverse controls, but it would, um, it would take me down for a little bit of damage. So, here the plan is just to parry heavy. Um, preferably push him to an SB2. Um, I can dex the full SB2, but um, the uh, I'll end up blocking the last hit just to be safe. Um, again, in war. So this is uh, pretty straightforward. He's at an SB2. I, I bait it. Take it on the block. It's all right. Um, I was supposed to take a, a Wong. It was a shared fight. We had uh, two assignments on it on the four, five, six mini in section one. But my buddy Andrew took it with uh, Kitty. Um, and, you know, it, it actually let me use Captain America for a, a different fight that I was debating on. So, here we're uh, in our SP3 rotation and the fight is basically um, over. X is not ramped here, so he's not doing much damage with just uh, uh, one prowess there. And we get to the second SB2, SB3, and it will kill him. Next up is um, Nick Fury on Ebb and Flow Knockdown. Heavy Unstoppable. So basically, I just can't bait a heavy from him. And I need to knock him down for the Fury. So the plan is to kill his decoy with basic hits, but time the knockdown to where I, I kill him with, uh, with the knockdown or close to it so i have my fury so as he starts degenerating i can do my sp3 spam um, this is important because if i do it before nick fury will um shrug the uh, mind control um once he the decoy dies so here i'm just ramping each parry is going to remove a tactical charge so it works hand in hand you're mutant so you don't always even place a tactical charge and ideally I don't want him to throw his SB1, mainly because it's just going to do chip damage in my block. Um, and it's going to build up his um, tactical charges. So here I'm like, okay, um, I have 100 charges, so I'm ramped. And I'm like, okay, so I just bait this SB2. And I'm also watching that when the Fury is about to run out, if he's stunned, I want to make sure that I'm not... Um, I'm not pushing him, or I'm, I'm not trying to parry him while the protection props up because he'll shrug the, the, the stun. So, right there I did a 4-hit combo hold block and he, he threw a heavy. I, I forgot for a second that it's heavy and stoppable. Um, so I go back to just, you know, getting it down. About a minute into the fight and he's at 20%. So I'm like, okay, bait this SB, um, SB2. Um, I bait this block just to control spacing and at this point... I'm like, okay, the fight's in good shape. It's about a minute and a half, and his decoy is going to die. Do a couple heavies, and I'm going to do a combo right here. And he throws a, a heavy, so he's uh, unstoppable with it. And I wait out the protection. He throws his SP1 into my block, and I'm like, okay, that's fine. And everything's going pretty smoothly. I miss a parry there. And um, because he threw that SP1, his miss my miss mechanic failed but take a full combo to the face uh luckily i struck some of the bleeds um i parry heavy and his uh he's degenerating at this point and i'm like okay if he throws this i'm just gonna heavy charge at this point and and start the um the spam so well x isn't needed to um you can boost all the time especially with these health pools it just makes it a lot safer um, and if I'm going to be running these boosts, um, you know, for other fights, then, uh, then, you know, why not? So here the decoy was, it was dead and I had my fury up. So doing substantial damage and he's going to end up dying. Now 
The one was taken down, but we also had a dual assignments for a null on 23. And we assigned a Wiccan because it's like taking the boss. You basically just want to burn Null to death with the armor breaks from his SP2. It has power focus uh, 2, so he's going to be constantly at an SP2. However, the root kind of throws that, that whole mechanic off because you can't dash back and hold block is, is tricky. So with Professor X, I'm going to use a power start 1 boost here. And uh, I'm going to finish off the fight. And the plan is just to get to 100 charges, parry heavy, and since his power focus too, his uh, combat power will be decreased after he gets the two bars of power. So at the, at the start of the fight, I'm just going to parry heavy. I'm not going to worry about getting rid of my uh, abyss charges. Um, and I got to watch for bubble shield as well. So I get, um, I get a few dexes here, and I'm like, all right, perfect. I need to get a, um, I need to hit him because of the root. And now I'm debuffing you, and I lost all the um, all the abyss uh, charges. And now I'm just ramping up. So at this point, I'm like, okay. He throws his SP2, go to dex it, and I just need a um, I just need another heavy, and I am set. So that's uh, that's all she wrote. So I'll uh, I'll take this death on the chin. The the assignment is uh, is. Uh, us is it's on us as planners this was a very simple uh, x fight i just thought it might be safer with wiccan because you can parry and um block um since he won't be unblockable and just kind of you know let him throw sp2s sp2s but you see it, this is just much easier it, it, it just was you know much much easier so at this point um the fight is over and we're you know moving moving on uh, in section two, I am on path um, five again. I'm going to be using white Magneto for a fight. I haven't used him in a few wars, so it's always fun to uh, break him out. And um, let's move on to this fight. And it's Nova on the first note of path five, Evan Flow Intercept. And I'm not using a white Magneto pre-fight here. Um, I'm gonna gain another one um, back uh, from this so I'll have two to use and I'll be using one on the next fight but basically white magneto works great for Nova because Nova has energized within his kit and, and he does this these funky mechanics when he dashes forward and gains power white magneto's uh, ability accuracy reduction will shut off a lot of his kit and if you get an intercept in this fight um, it may take a few intercepts but it'll shut off the node I actually Sometimes I don't prefer it to be shut down because White Magneto hits so hard, especially with Mutant Boost, that I, I really like the Fury from it. But you see he didn't go for an intercept there. I'm like, okay, so just go back, do a backdraft here, and I get it, and, and the protection is now gone. So at this point, I want to bait an SB1, um, and then I'm going to build up to my SB2. So I'm still running the Mutant Boost, um, you know, for my fights. And I'm like, okay, just... Uh, should have thrown heavy there um, to gain a, a longer pr uh, prowess. But I'm really not worried about the prowess. I just want to get to my special. Here you see I throw a special too. 26k, 22k, so it's about a 50k SB2. I'm like, all right, almost gets me to two uh, two bars, and I throw another one, and that's all she wrote. It's just under 100k right there, and the fight's over. So the next fight on my path is Sorcerer Supreme. This is Ebb and Flow Intercept with Mighty Charge. I have a White Magneto pre-fight, so I can basically um, uh, parry at will. And here, I'm just going to parry heavy. Um, she's a global attacker, so anytime she throws a special, I'm going to be, you know, gaining an unsteady debuff. And she also procs her own debuffs off of her special, so she can be a bit annoying. Um, because I have to lose the debuffs, debuffs before I uh, throw my special three. So here I have a slow on me, and I'm like, all right, well, I gotta lose that. So she's gotta throw another special, but she does, and I lose it, and I get two more from her um, special. So I'm just like, um, I'm like, okay, well, just keep going. And um, I'm debuff immune at that at this point, so I'm like, okay, I need to get an intercept. So I need her to basically come at me. And she gets kind of tricky because if she doesn't, you know, um, 
he, she gains power so often that it's just like, man, I, uh, I need to get spacing to where she has no power to get a, a special off. But I get a, I get a quick intercept, you know, and, uh, and that's basically uh, all she wrote. She has high energy resistance, so fighting Sorcerer with X can be kind of annoying. But here I'm fully ramped, so, um, you know, she goes down uh, quite easily uh, on, uh, on this node with this health uh, pool. So, next up is America Chavez, the 456 Section 2 Mini. It's Ebb and Flow Intercept and uh, Mighty Charge. Now, Chavez is always, you know, Chavez. So, the thing with Professor X is like, yes, I can get her down with Professor X and uh, my controller I did last war. I'm not uncomfortable fighting with her, but what Cap provides is I can use the indestructible boost and if the timing lines up, I get an intercept. I only need two bars of power to basically um, get to my special two and do big damage. So at this point, I'm gonna parry heavy and just, you know, chip her away. And I have an indestructible boost, so if I, um, there she throws a heavy, and I'm like, oh man. Um, and then she throws another heavy, and I'm like, great, this is a great start to this fight. So at this point, I'm like, you know what, it's alright. If I have to, if I have to, you know, tank an SB2, uh, because, um, uh, of the, uh, dimensions that she has, then I will. I have an indestructible boost. But I also know that Cap can just glance it. So, I'm just like, okay, I, if I get in danger, I just feel like Cap has more of a safety net than Professor X. So, as this fight's going, I'm okay with a special two right here. She's actually not um, in any zone, so she throws this. And I'm like, alright, perfect, that went well. Just took that on the chin like nothing, but then I lose my indestructible right after. And I'm just like, great. Absolutely great. So, at this point... Um, I want her to throw this special one, and of course she throws a uh, heavy, and now she has one dimension up, and I should have baited a heavy and triggered a different dimension, but she throws this, and I take it on the chin and glance some of it, so I'm like, okay, so I get an intercept here, um, I get a heavy into my special three, and you can see that the heavy did quite a bit of damage. A special 3 is going to come back and do um, quite a bit of damage as well. She's at 11%. And she throws her special right out, out of the gate. And I'm like, okay, I still have some of my fury, but she throws another special. Well, I'm thankful that she's throwing specials. Now she parries me, and I'm just like, man. He is a tank right here, because I just took all of that on the chin. And he glanced most of it. And I'm like, at this point, I'm not going to um, even intercept. The special 2 would have definitely killed her. So, you know, sketchy fight on my on uh, my side but you know another another reason why cap is a beast he has high damage can take a lot of hits and none of his sig actually was needed or applied in that fight so this professor x fight i think he's absolutely great for um this global and most bosses um uh that they put on here if they are global or not maybe even you can even take some bosses that aren't global but the thought process here is to um heavy counter uh, uh, two times and then use my falter because 10 seconds would have passed to ramp up my charges. I have read pre-fights on here so it's actually lowering his combat power rate um, which which really helps so he doesn't get you know too much power. So here I'm, I have a charge to about 60, uh, 5 and um, now I'm, I'm heavy countering. I use the power start 1 boost to, um, to so I can get to my special 3 sooner than later. Basically, once he goes untouchable, any hits that he hits me or I hit him, he will place ruptures on me. So, the thought process is to start my cycle before that. And six hits in, I literally am on a special three and fully ramp. This fight is essentially over at that point. Um, my hit count will go up. This was 35 seconds into this fight. It was, it was over. There was nothing he could do. So... I throw my first special to three and you know I get my special three back there is a bug every now and again with Professor X that I don't even know how it happens but you'll see that the first special three kicks me out and then I get a special two here right it's unblockable so it, it, it does more damage so it kicks me back out to um, a special three and then the fight is essentially over so again 
While the hit count is inflated because of his special three, this fight was over in six hits and 35 seconds. So Professor X is just a beast. I think overall with this global and the attacker tactic, it just really kind of helps him um, shine in a, in a war. So this was the uh, this was the end of our battle group war. We um, we had a few more fights left, um, but you're non-global and we closed out. Let's look at the stats now. And we ended up taking this war. Shout out to PWF Karate Mike and Andrew for the MVPs. Karate Mike had a uh, a tough boss fight there, but he pulled it out because the dude's a beast. See you guys in the next one.